Just Hockey Show. I'm the Trev. It's too sweet. Again, my apologies for sounding so incredibly hoarse. Know that I am on the road to recovery. But anyway, we touched on this. When I did their reverse retro video, we knew this was coming. They announced it well before they debuted this today. And really, worst kept secret in the league, but the day is finally here. And if you caught the way they announced it, the countdown to the announcement, if you caught goats walking around the visitor's locker room for 30 minutes and thought this was mildly entertaining, then hey, I'm glad I wasn't alone. Sabres reintroduced their goat head as a third jersey. Let's discuss. Since the reverse retros were all kinds of nice 90s, let's go full blown. If you don't remember this, this was their jersey from 1996 to 2006. They even made a cup run in this jersey. Now, there are differences from this compared to the original. It's a brief shot of the original. Obviously, the biggest difference is always going to be the neck. As, you know, they didn't have the modern Adidas neck back in the 90s. But there's the inside. It's, it's really just black. So, can't be mad with that. And the goat head is always front and center. And with the new raised graphics, it's a thing of beauty. It's a better shot. As I said... The raised graphics just make it pop really, really nicely. Now, there are differences in the goat head as well as how it came across in the original. So the original will go right there. It's so the more modern one. So you can obviously see, obviously see more of the silver is in the goat head itself as opposed to outlined because that's a really thick red. The eyeball alone stands out really nicely. The shading that went into it compared to the original. Shading. Shading. You can see the subtle differences. The B-sword is again there. And there are differences in this one too. There's your differences. The original one is obviously the one closest here. Middle one's the one they're using now. And the sword comes from the logo just put a little more the authentic original touch into it compared to how it looked previously striping on the arms and the sides essentially stay the same just look on the back side and name and number essentially stays identical to the previous look so if you're gonna go all out go all out right so it's a nice way to put the audit the ideas touch onto onto basically an old 90s classic and the neatest thing is they have this one and then they have the reverse retro in their current colors so it's a nice white black set without you know without taking too much away i mean the white one is obviously just there by default but i mean this jersey brings back all kinds of member berries Truthfully, honestly, it's it's nice to see this one make a comeback. I mean, of all the ones you you know should have made a comeback, this one had to be one. Guaranteed, with the Flames pedestal and the latest round of reverse retros all going 90s theme, of course, why not? Now, would I say this one's better than the original? Yes, I would. And you can be mad at me all I want for that one. <laughs> with all... The 90s jerseys, even the even the 80s and 70s jerseys, getting the modern touch. I, I know I joke about it a lot, and I say what's old is new again, but it literally is. What's old is new again, and I'm sorry, they pulled this one off a lot nicer. They really did. Now, to answer the question, would I buy it? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, I would. It was a kick-ass jersey then, and it's a kick-ass jersey now. I wouldn't say I'd be in a rush to buy it, but if I found an opportunity and myself there was present to do it, of course I would. 
Because why not? It's the goat head. Now, I might be the only one who's thinking this, so I'm just going to say it out loud. With everything that's old being new again, is the buff of slug going to make a comeback too? Because I'd love to see that. So let me know your thoughts on the Buffalo Sabres goat head third jersey. This is another one shows hockey shows. Oh, well, thank you for tuning in. Don't think. I don't appreciate the gesture, especially if you've made it to this point. It's a great thing. So let's keep up with it. If you want to, let me know you're here. If you like this video, if you just want to say hi, hit that thumbs up. It's the best way to do it. If you want, if you haven't done it yet, that red button that says subscribe all over it, you know what it does. You know what we're going for, and you know what'll make you feel good. Do it up. Socials, they're in the description down below. Let's so move forward. I got a couple I'm going to do this week. I'm going to dip into that retired numbers playlist too. <laughs> but either way, in the meantime, in between time, be looking for more years from Trev. Later.